Prior to digital capabilities, howitzers would have to be put in position with traditional survey, which is very time consuming. And in the combat world, you have a field artillery piece, a cannon that's getting in place to fire support for a maneuver element. You know, when it takes 10, 12, 15 minutes to get that gun in place, you've got maneuver elements that are needing support fire for their combat operations. And so the new digital capability, basically what that does is that allows the gun to locate itself. And so now instead of being ready to fire in 10 or 15 minutes, we're looking at two or three minutes now. And uh, so it allows the gun to be ready to fire much faster. All right, we got this. We got this. Thank you, Mr. Good job, guys. Hot Alpha. Hot Alpha. George Bond. George Bond. Huge PD. 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 Our inertial navigation unit, which is similar to a GPS, it tells you exactly where you are. We have a muzzle velocity sensor that will tell you how fast the projectile is moving. So we're able to really get a much better feel for where the round is going to end up. It makes our life easier because there's less stress on the leadership to have to lay and safe the guns. With the guns being self-locating and self-orienting, Pretty, the job's pretty much taken care of already. You just have to do secondary uh, verification checks. With our world, it's constantly advancing at a rapid pace with technology. One of the things that we have to make sure that we do is to ensure that we can operate and still function without that digital capability, because ultimately, that cannoneer has got to get that round down range to support those maneuver elements.